You have been waiting, waiting, and waiting to buy a pair of AirPods Max. And after patiently waiting for over three years, your patience has been rewarded with, well, nothing. Because Apple has yet to refresh or update the AirPods Max. And that's a huge problem because Apple recently switched over their iPhone lineup to USB-C. So an updated pair of AirPods Max are more of an inevitability than a what if. But how much longer will you have to wait before these things get updated? And how much more will you have to deny yourself the simple pleasures of what I think are the best headphones out there for Apple users. Well, you could end your misery right now by buying a pair of AirPods Max, but is that really the smart move at a retail price of $550, or should you wait for the next version? And yes, I have been using my pair of AirPods Max since the first day they have been released, so the pair you see on my head are over three years old at this point, and to be as authentic as possible with how well these have hold up, I have not even bothered to clean my silver pair before shooting this video, even in what arguably is the color that should be the easiest to get dirty, the silver AirPods Max still look very pristine. There's no scuffs or scratches on the aluminum exterior, the top band still looks bright in its white color, and there's only some slight darkening or yellowing on the mesh headband and the easily replaceable magnetic headphone cushions, which is great because they're so easy to remove and replace, but thankfully, I have yet to really need to do that, so almost like a useless feature, but it is kind of fun to snap on and off. Now, the only place I give a slight ding in build quality is to the mesh on the top of the headphones because it isn't as springy as when I first got it. You can see that the material is sagging when it isn't on your head. Other than that though, the headphones have held up very, very well. And because AirPods Max use metal for the design rather than plastic, they're still, after all this time, zero creaking or crackling when handling these headphones or when making adjustments to the fit. That's not something I can say even about new pairs of premium headphones from other companies that use plastic for lighter weight. But yes, because of Apple's insistence on using aluminum instead of plastic, the AirPods Max weight are decently heavy for a pair of over-the-ear wireless headphones. However, while I have seen many other users ding AirPods Max for their overall comfort, I can't say that I'm one of them. For me, it's all about ear fit rather than weight. And with plenty of other headphones, the cups have two problems. First of all, most are too small and tend to give me a lot of pressure around the ear, which makes them uncomfortable to wear for more than a few hours. AirPods Max have plenty of room on the inside of the ear cushion to fully envelop my ear, and that alleviates a lot of that pressure. Second, most headphone cups are made from a pleathery material which is less breathable than the knit cushioned AirPods Max headphone cups. I find the former to be more uncomfortable for prolonged periods of wear, and I constantly get that, you know, hot, sweaty feeling when wearing them. Now, besides the generally great build quality, AirPods Max are also sort of becoming a fashion icon. Since they've been released, for better or worse, they have become a status symbol, and I see people wearing AirPods Max everywhere. In cafes, outside, and even in areas where you think the heavier metal design wouldn't quite work, like the gym. There are people sweating it out in AirPods Max. It's, it's a little gross. Now, these headphones are just ubiquitous, right? They've become very popular over these past three years. It's probably why you want to get one right now. You just saw someone walking outside with them, and you're like, you know what, Greg, I, I, I should really, you know, I've been doing good at my job. I should, I should spring on myself. I should splurge. I should buy myself a pair of AirPods Max. And you know what? You deserve it, but, but keep watching. Now listen, for me, I love using my AirPods Max at home. I love using them here in the studio or while I'm trying to focus at a cafe, but they are still not my first choice for activity when I'm walking outside or exercising in the gym. For that, I still prefer the form factor and overall convenience of my AirPods Pro. And to me, there's no pair of headphones on the market today that are as comfortable as a wireless earbud. But when I look around directly at the competition in the headphone space, and believe me, there's a lot of competition nowadays, I would say that these are still my favorite looking and favorite fitting pair of Bluetooth headphones on the market, and Apple has done an amazing job making a premium feeling, but also aesthetically pleasing pair of headphones, 
and it's easy to see why they're so popular. There's also a lot of nice functionality in their design that makes it easier to use than other pairs of headphones. My favorite addition on the AirPods Max is the digital crown, which gives you a pleasing dial that rotates to adjust the volume, and it feels so much better than a bunch of random button presses. Every nice piece of audio gear needs a nice knob, and the digital crown is such a nice and pleasant way to adjust audio, and I'm a fiddler. I, I like to fiddle with the digital crown, so that's also a, a bonus for me. I also like how easy it is to enter in and out of noise cancellation and transparency mode with the dedicated side button. By the way, noise cancellation is one of the primary reasons you'll wanna pick up these headphones. These are great for so many scenarios when you need to cut out outside noise. And that noise cancellation is seriously powerful. It blocks out people talking, loud constant sounds like the plane engine, the cafe's awful music selection, the person behind you that won't stop coughing and hacking up a lung. Yeah, if, you, if you're getting distracted by other things, turn on noise cancellation and immerse yourself in music or whatever you're watching and enter into bliss mode. Ignorance is bliss. But there is another mode called transparency mode and that is also a magical experience. It pumps in outside noise through the microphone into your ear. So instead of blocking sound, you can let the sound in to carry on a conversation or, uh, you know, be more alert of your surroundings. That's always a good thing, right? And I feel like a lot of other headphones on the market, which do honestly have good noise cancellation. They compete very well against AirPods Max. Some might even have better noise cancellation, but I really feel like what's great about AirPods Max is that the transparency mode feels so natural. And with a lot of other headphones, they just sound a lot less natural with their implementation. And that always bothers me. But what about sound quality? Because who would wear a pair of headphones just because they look cool, even if the sound quality is garbage? Okay, okay, point proven, point proven. That was an era of headphones, right? But listen, that is not the case with AirPods Max. They sound really good with a great mix from the highs to the lows with a pleasant bass, but not overly bassy. And they really excel in the mids offering crisp, clear sound with tuning that goes well into a huge range of music from rock to hip hop. And I even like listening to classical music on these headphones. They just sound really good. Movie scores in particular, sound great. I don't know why I pronounce movies like that, but movie scores. Listen to the Oppenheimer soundtrack. You'll feel like you're about to create a nuclear bomb. So, so you'll feel smart, I think. Can you hear the music, Robert? Yes, I can. But let's address your fears, like the fear of being alone forever, or when you wake up at three in the morning and it's completely pitch dark. What was that person moving in the corner? What was that sound? Did I lock the door? Or, or the fear that a three-year-old product, a three-year-old Apple product in particular, isn't going to hold up in the sound department when we get technological advances every year. Well, those fears are irrational, except the fear of being alone. That is very real, so, so good luck on that one. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Uh, but the natural fear of uh, buying these today and Apple releasing a new pair of headphones a year later, or maybe even this year, it is a real fear, but I think for this product, it's a misplaced one. Because what you most likely fear is that some new groundbreaking feature will come along on the next pair of AirPods Max that make this first generation irrelevant. And what you're most likely fearing, as someone who's considering buying a pair of AirPods Max, is that the second generation will sound much better than the first generation. And I fully understand those fears, especially in the fast paced world of consumer technology. It always seems like updates are coming sooner rather than later. We got display advancements, camera advancements, chip advancements, all seem to progress so quickly. So if you're buying something like a three-year-old iPhone and then a new one comes out, you're likely missing out on a lot of new features. Because in the audio world, while technological advancements do happen, a good pair of headphones sound good for a really, really long time, because that's just how physics work. There are physical constraints to the speakers or drivers you can use in audio equipment, and it's kind of hard to change. Like the more space you have, the bigger drivers you can fit into headphones. And in most cases, that would result in better sound quality if you can fit in bigger drivers. So while technological advancements could be made in a few areas, it is likely that the overall sound signature of AirPods Max or the sound quality of it 
is going to remain even on a second generation that comes out three to four years later. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't any improvements Apple can make here, and you deserve to know what those potential improvements might be in case you wanna decide on holding off on purchasing these AirPods Max right now. First of all, there's obvious improvements that seem all but certain. Apple's latest AirPods Pro come with a new H2 chip, which includes new processing, which yes, could result in slightly better sound quality, but most likely uh, lower latency and an improved Bluetooth connection. Personally, I believe the biggest area for potential gain here is with noise cancellation, considering just how much Apple improved them on the AirPods Pro 2, and that was with a teeny tiny pair of earbuds, so that same technology in a big pair of AirPods Max to would likely be pretty outstanding. Furthermore, the H2 chip would allow Apple to implement adaptive audio like they have an AirPods Pro 2, but honestly, that's a feature I don't use that much. I kind of prefer just switching into noise cancellation or transparency mode to get a consistent experience. Now, there is also a chance that AirPods Max 2 could include lossless audio, which these do not, and that might either be done wirelessly or through a physical audio connection. Now listen, most people can't hear the difference between lossy and lossless audio, so if you're a self-proclaimed audiophile, this is probably a feature you'll want, but if you're not, you probably won't even notice the difference. Now, there could be improvements to the design as well, which granted, I don't think there's really all that much they can do to this current generation. There's not much that needs improving upon. And of course, there's gonna be new colors, so yeah, I guess if you want everyone to know you have the latest pair, like flexing is important in the world of headphones we have found out through this video. So I guess if you're that vapid and concerned about your image like I am, then yeah, you'll, you'll probably want a second generation. But seriously, the, the biggest change that I think will impact most users on the second generation of AirPods Max is uh, right here, this port. We all know Apple is slowly moving to a world of USB-C as the primary connector on all of their products, and the current version of AirPods Max, yeah, they ship with a lightning port. Hey, listen, these are first world problems, like major first world, the biggest first world problem, right? It's not the biggest deal in the world to use a separate cable to charge your headphones with, especially when Apple includes a lightning cable in the box with the pair of AirPods Max and the battery life on these is about 20 hours of listening time, so you're likely only charging them at home, right? It's not like you're out and about with the AirPods Max, you're like, oh no, my battery's dying, help, help, get, get me a charger, someone. So it, it's not like a phone, it's, it's not that big of a deal. But there's real world benefits besides charging that USB-C could bring to AirPods Max, and you really only have to look at the recently released Apple-owned Beat Studio Pro. This will give you an idea of what Apple could enable with this port, namely, the ability to listen to music losslessly through the physical USB-C to USB-C connection, and with almost every Apple product now having a USB-C port, that means you'll easily be able to connect these headphones either wired or wirelessly. It's like going back in time, which is nice sometimes. However, for most users, the main appeal of these headphones is that they are wireless. And they are wireless headphones that sound pretty darn good. So while these are still on the expensive side, I mean, they are really on the expensive side for a pair of headphones. If you can afford that luxury and you aren't worried about missing out on some potential convenience features with the second generation, I would say AirPods Max are, are still worth it today. And that's kind of shocking. Personally, if I was buying a pair today, I would do my best to shop around and see if I can snag like a little discount on them. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description below. Usually on a third party site like Amazon or Best Buy, you'll find these discounted, not by much, maybe for like $100 max, but hey, $100 off a $550 product, I'll take those savings, right? Especially for a product that's three to four years old at this point. And you can probably find them on Apple's refurbished website too, if you're willing to go that route. But yeah, if you're tired, uh, of waiting for a new pair of AirPods Max, like you want these today, you wanna pick them up, I say go and get them, life is short, enjoy them. These are still gonna sound good, even if they come out with the second generation later this year. And if you wanna wait, that's also a viable strategy. There's really nothing wrong with waiting. If you really must have the latest and greatest, then by all means wait. It's probably only gonna be until the end of this year, until the second generation comes out. So if you can wait, do it. If you want them now, do it. Just And if you wanna subscribe, it. do it. All right, do me the favor. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give me a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success.
while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible!